The Irish News reported that Michelle O'Neill led a reef at a British war sanitaire. She said it's the show that she would be a first minister for all. Irish nationalists shouldn't want to be a part of, never mind leading, a storm administration. Provisional Sinn Féin should remember that Tans fought at the song. The Irish Independent reported that the Free State Health Service executive managers are concerned about advice being given to patients by the Transgender Equality Network and they are correct to be concerned. Agweb reported that Ukrainian farmers are destroying harvest equipment to keep Russians from taking crops. Old habits die hard for Kulaks and Banderites. Glenn Greenwald published an interview on German media of the Ukrainian ambassador to Germany where the ambassador defended Stepan Bandera and denied the Holocaust. The Cradle reported that the CIA recruited ISIS fighters from Syrian Democratic Forces jails to fight for Ukraine. Derry now reported that the inquest into Kathleen Thompson's murder found that the British soldier unjustly shot her. No surprise there and as the Pat Finucane Centre pointed out this is why Brandon Lewis wants to put a stop to such inquests. Before its news reported that Colonel Douglas McGregor stated that Ukraine is a failed state. He stated that Ukraine has collapsed and that people are being pushed at gunpoint into Russian fire. The Sirius report reported that Finnair has lost over 133 million euros and 51 million euros of that is in fuel costs due to Moscow closing Russian airspace. Play stupid games and win stupid prizes. The serious report also reported that the EU Commission is allowing Russian goods bound for Kaliningrad to travel through Lithuania. The Breaking News Network reported that Belarus fired missiles at Chernigiv. Reuters reported that India's top cement manufacturer is paying for Russian coal in Chinese yuan. American military news reported that the United States Army has cut the high school diploma requirement in order to boost recruitment. The New York Post reported that a vegan mother starved a toddler to death with a diet of raw vegetables and fruit.